You're watching Health Media Network, helping people live healthier lives. Most people associate nasal allergies with outdoor triggers like pollen and ragweed. But just as many Americans suffer from allergies indoors, the most common indoor allergens are dust mites, pet allergies, mold and mildew, and insects like cockroaches. While dust mites can be found throughout the house, these microscopic creatures thrive in warm, humid environments such as bedding, upholstered furniture, and carpeting. In order to reduce mite levels in your bedroom, you can do several things. Encase mattresses, box springs, and pillows in special allergen-proof fabric covers that are airtight, zippered plastic covers. Bedding should be washed weekly in hot water at at least 130 degrees and dried in a hot dryer. Allergen-proof covers are available for comforters and pillows that can't be regularly washed. Contrary to popular opinion, what makes people allergic to pets is not so much their fur, but their saliva and their dander, or the dead skin they shed. For this reason, it's best to keep pets out of the bedroom, in particular to avoid allergic reactions there. Many people are allergic to cockroaches. Even if you keep a very clean home, they can be a trigger because they can hide in walls and floorboards. Good pest control can reduce your exposure. Indoor molds and mildew typically are found in basements, bathrooms, and anywhere with leaks. Get rid of mold growth on hard surfaces with water and detergent. Dehumidifiers can help, but they have to be emptied and cleaned frequently or they will add to the problem. Hope Duncan says her son had a reaction even though they could not see the mold anywhere. You never know what's underneath the carpet that you have, um, you know, from pets or from water damage, and so there can be things underneath growing that we don't know about. Ironically, Researchers are finding that newer energy-efficient homes may be more likely to provoke allergic reactions indoors because they are so well insulated they trap the allergy triggers inside. For every solution there's a problem. So uh, energy efficiency is really, really important. At the same time, what's staying in the house is staying in the house. An allergy specialist or allergist can help you identify things in your home, workplace, or school that make your symptoms worse. The right care can make the difference